I'm trying to rest so they can vision my mission to get a million. Verbally undenied, these hating niggas are silly. I'm the reason why these fools invented the proper stop. I said I spit so hard that they needed some type of blocker. Verbal venom uncontrollable, scare them like I'm the Holy Ghost. I can give these niggas my pen and they still wouldn't go. Get them here with a vision, these niggas lost in their wish and give these rappers a couple minutes. YouTube, it's your boy 44. Hitting you up with a video today about dihydroboldenone or DHB, aka one test sip. Now, um, interesting thing about it, even though it is called one test, it is not a uh, testosterone variant. Uh, it is actually a 5 alpha reductase version of boldenone or EQ. However, <laughs> It acts more like primaballin as far as uh, its course of action. What you can expect from DHB is a slow process of gaining very retainable muscle. Um, it's not as fact a fast acting as uh, you know other more popular steroids, which is pretty unfortunate um, because DH DHB is very anabolic acting, although structurally on paper, the uh, anabolic to androgenic ratio is simply a matter of 200 anabolic and 100 androgenic. So it is very similar uh, androgenic side effect wise to testosterone. However, it does not aromatase. Uh, so you, your conversion to estrogen will be minimal. So it is a very user friendly steroid in that regards. Now, although it's only got an anabolic ratio of 200, think about it. That's stronger than a lot of other popular bulking steroids such as uh, <coughs> decaturoblin and uh, even testosterone, which, you know, testosterone should always be uh, a good base for all steroid cycles and blasts. But um, the thing about DHB is it actually yields pretty good uh, strength gains. And like I said, over a prolonged period of time, uh, let's say at least 16, 12 to 16 weeks, maybe even 20 if you're cycling, uh, DHB can be one of those compounds that will give you great results as far as retainable muscle. Uh, very similar, in fact, to primaballin. Uh, primaballin is pretty much a, a DHB variant as well. So, I mean, think about it. Uh, a lot of people may get turned off by the fact that it's similar to primaballin, uh, but from a common sense standpoint, uh, DHB just, it makes more sense to me because you don't want to just bulk up, put on 20, 30, 40 pounds uh, of water weight, and then at the end of your cycle or blast, shed the majority of that. Yes, you will have some retainable muscle. However, if you want maximum retainability, um, you know, DHB versus Dianabol or some other compound uh, such as Decaturoblin or MPP uh, would probably be the best way to go if you're in this for the long haul. Uh, understand that you're not going to put on a a lot of size with DHB, but if you cycle it or if you stack it with other compounds such as uh, test cypionate or even test propionate, I'd probably go with the test uh, cypionate version on this because of the long half-life of DHB, which is roughly eight to 10 days. So you only need to pin it like every fourth or fifth day. You know, you could probably stretch it out to six. Uh, don't be that jackass that runs test in and date and pins it once a week and then thinks that you can uh, do the DHB like that as well. Uh, me personally, I like to pin testosterone uh, twice a week just to maintain steady levels uh, during a blast and cruise because the fluctuation of the uh, hormone release, you know, if you get down to that half lifetime, you know, you pin 500 milligrams, it's going to ramp up, your testosterone levels are gonna ramp up and then they're gonna slowly start to descend. Right, so to maintain steady levels, me personally, I would pin twice a week uh, with the testosterone. The DHB, uh, I would, you could probably go about every four days. I, I would consider that a safe dosage. Now, what is the dosage? Uh, most people run this at about 400 to 500, maybe 600 milligrams per week. I would personally uh, want to see somebody go a little higher, maybe about 800 milligrams per week. But this thing is notorious for PIP, right? So. You know, if you're if you're not if you have a DHB, if you have DHB and there's not a lot of pip in it, right? There's a lot of something else in it that's going to minimize that pip, right? So, uh, pay special attention to the scent of your DHB. You know, it might be they might use glycol in it, which is a uh, local anesthetic and stuff like that to minimize pip, commonly associated with aces and bases. 
you know so if it has that funny smell it's definitely got glycol in it right glycol what the hell is glycol uh if you've ever taken gyafessin right that's what it is that's why trend cough you know is such a bitch you know any steroid will give you trend cough right but what asphyxiates you pretty much is the glycol hitting directly into your bloodstream and hitting the air pockets in your lungs so it's not just trend cough don't get it mistaken trend will give you trend cough that's why it's called trend cough it's commonly associated with that if you strike a vein however any anabolic steroid if you pin a vein will give you trend cough right and if you pin enough of that oil in your vein you will possibly uh, suffer severe injury or death you just don't want to have a bunch of oil you know especially if you're some jackass like me pinning three mil uh, at a time you know you don't want to have three mil of oil you know all of a sudden enter your heart chambers I mean it's just not good it takes like three mils of air or three cc's of air to actually you know fuck you up as far as aneurysms and strokes right so three mils of oil is definitely not going to do you any favors but anyways back to the dhb what can you expect from it slow steady gains over a prolonged period of time high retainability of muscle low water retention right and then um what else the pip of course you're going to get that pip and we just discussed if you're not getting that pip um then you need to definitely know who's brewing it because they may simply be selling you some bullshit because obviously, like I said, structurally, this is uh, a 5-alpha reductase variant of Equipoise, a.k.a. Boldenon. You may just simply be getting Boldenon. Now, if you happen to get this in a different ester, because it is commonly available in the acetate ester as well, you're not going to pin it every four to five days. You're going to pin this, you know, because the half-life would be uh, very different, right? So you would probably pin this every other day uh, if you got it in the acetate ester. But enjoy dhb for what it's worth it is a very complimentary steroid uh it will help other compounds shine that's why it's number one it's it's very similar to equipoise however it acts like prima balance so you've got the best of both worlds lean hard gains and a complementary compound to other uh compounds within your cycle so you're going to get good vascularity if you're let's say 12 to 10 percent body fat you can expect to lean out a little bit it's not going to be like that instant gratification let's say like with winnie right but it is going to kick in and take effect uh many people tend to call uh dhb like trans baby brother because of the similarities in the cutting and the strength aspects right it is not uh going to give you that uh monster psycho strength however it is a good addition to any cycle or blast and it will give you some, I mean, it'll give you better strength gains than let's say testosterone alone. Um, I know a lot of people are sitting there looking for this, who has DHB, who has DHB. It's a very popular compound, right? Um, unfortunately for a lot of you guys, uh, it's not very commonly found out there uh, with a lot of UGLs and, and uh, pharmas and stuff like that. So, I mean, you really have to invest the time to take a look for it and you need to know who the hell you're getting it from. If you're getting it from a UGL, get it from one of the larger, uh, more well-known and renowned UGLs. If you're getting it from a company, you know, make sure that you've had previous dealings with the company before. Now, um, just to touch on something, uh, aside from DHB, because we've pretty much summarized it, um, no, my code for IA Super Pharma is no longer working because IA Super Pharma and myself have opted to uh, part ways business wise. I no longer promote IA Super Pharma. Uh, however, I do wish them uh, much continued success and the best of luck. They are some great guys over there. It's just that uh, we just had to, in order to grow, we just had to, uh, you know, go our separate ways because we all have aspirations. I have my own. And, uh, you know, hey, I needed to concentrate on uh, meeting my own personal goals as well. Um, if you've taken a look, if you follow me on social media and stuff like that, uh, you've seen uh, Swole Blood, you've seen Swole Buds as well. Uh, be sure to take advantage of uh, you know giving that stuff a try. You won't be disappointed with either one. Uh, Swole Blood is doing extremely well. And uh, you know, no, you're not gonna, don't message me about it, you know, I don't, handle any of the stuff like that you can you can ask questions and so forth like that i'm glad to share information with you guys right but no you're not getting it directly from me 
Uh, I'm just letting you know that. I don't push weight like that. But anyway, I do push weight. But I, it's in the fucking gym. I just had to clarify that for, you know, motherfuckers who just had something to say. But anyways, um, other than that, uh, that's what's going on. Uh, so, you know, if you're, you know, follow me on Instagram, uh, you know, and I'll provide links in the video uh, or Facebook. Or if you're on the Swole Blood homepage, which is invite member only, uh, that's great. If you're a member of the Nest of Giants, you know, that's great. Remember, uh, that is now a paid subscription site, which is very uh, affordable. Uh, keep in mind, I do offer nutrition advice uh, for a fee, small, reasonable fee. Uh, I actually uh, sell a diet and nutrition plan. Uh, I also give cycle advice uh, and or tweaks if you already got one as well going on uh, for a very super, super, super reasonable price. And also, I got the brewing instructions. Now, I'm not sitting here stroking my ego <laughs> and stuff like that, right? But I'm, what I am saying is that, hey, we've got a lot to offer, got a lot to give. And, uh, you know, if there's any assistance that you guys need, right, you don't need to pay some bullshit exuberant fucking price, you know, for advice and stuff like that or brewing instructions or anything like that. Uh, when you can get it at basically one-tenth of the fucking price it's being offered at elsewhere. Nobody's ever been dissatisfied uh, with the brewing instructions I've provided. They are extremely detailed. So brewing instructions, nutritional advice, cycle tweaks, swole blood, swole buds, one-stop shop for everything, brother. You know, we got what you need, bottom line. You just need to know how to get it because uh, it's only for the privilege, baby. But anyhow, hey, that's my video on DHB, and as you can see, we are getting back into talking about compounds. The next video will be about Anavar, and I know somebody's saying, what the fuck, Anavar? Anavar, don't sleep on that shit. Anavar is a fucking great compound. I'm running 100 milligrams of that uh, per day, along with Dianabol and uh, Test Propionate, All right? Um, like I mentioned in my last video. But don't sleep on Anavar uh, at the appropriate dosage. You know, Anavar can be a mean son of a bitch, so just remember that. But anyhow, you know the motherfucking deal. It's your boy, 44, bringing you the good shit, top-rated shit. Big ups to uh, Dr. Tony Huge and Enhanced Athlete. Uh, big ups to my boys and homeboys on uh, Nest of Giants, right? And of course, you know, hey, check out Swole Blood. We got everything that you need, baby. But anyhow, it's your boy, 44. I'm out, baby.